Hi, Reading Power friends. I'm gonna read a book to you called, Are You a Horse? It is written by Andy Rash, and it is also illustrated by Andy Rash. So he wrote the story and drew the pictures for this book. Do you know what a horse is? I sure do. It's one of our creatures that says, nay, that we find on the farm and that we see in lots of our stories that we read together. So here we go. Are you a horse? Today was Rory's birthday. His friends made a cake and gave him a great big birthday present. What's this thing? Roy asked his friends. It was a saddle. And luckily it came with instructions. Number one, find a horse. Number two, enjoy the ride. Roy wasn't sure what a horse was, but he couldn't wait to try out his new saddle. So he went out to find one. The first thing Roy came to was squeaky and rusty. See right there, what is that? It's a wagon. Are you a horse, he asked. Nope, I'm an old wagon, said the wagon. A horse is a living thing. Next, Roy came to a tall, prickly thing. See it here? Are you a horse, he asked. I bristle at the thought. I'm a cactus, said the cactus. A horse is an animal. After that, Roy saw a wiggly, hissing thing. Are you a horse, he asked. A horse has legs. I'm a snake, said the snake. A skittery, pinchy thing ran sideways in front of Roy. It had plenty of legs. Are you a horse, he asked. A horse? I'll pinch you good. A horse is friendly. I'm a crab, said the crab. Now go away. He does look crabby, doesn't he? Wow, look at this picture. Roy saw a climbing bug-eyed thing smiling at him. Are you a horse, he asked. I can be green or brown or purple, it said. But can you be a horse, Roy asked. No, but a horse can't change colors like me. I'm a chameleon said the chameleon. Roy came to a tree with a feathered hooting thing on a branch. See it right here? It didn't turn green or brown or purple. Are you a horse, he asked. Who, me? Indeed not. A horse doesn't lay eggs. See, he's holding an egg there. I'm an owl, said the owl. Oh boy, look at this guy. We know what that is, right friends? Roy saw a fat snorting thing rolling around in a mud puddle. He didn't see eggs anywhere. Are you a horse, he asked. Oink, not me. A horse is clean. I'm a muddy, muddy pig, said the pig. Hmm. Roy spotted a furry upside down thing hanging from a branch. It looked pretty clean. Are you a horse, he asked. A horse is very, very fast. I'm a sloth, said the sloth. Look, it goes from daytime all the way to nighttime. That's how slow that sloth was. You guys hear my puppy trying to get in on this story? He's jumping at my feet right now. Next, Roy saw a romping, growling thing. It was very fast. Are you a horse, he asked. Rawr, a horse eats grass. I'm a man-eating lion, said the lion. Uh-oh. Are you a man, said the lion. 
No, said Roy, I'm a cowboy. And Roy ran away as fast as he could. After that, Roy came to a quiet black and white thing eating grass. You must be a horse, said Roy. I'm not a horse, I'm a zebra, said the zebra. A horse doesn't have stripes. Roy got very upset. Why can't I find a horse, he yelled. Just as Roy was about to give up, he met one last creature. Look who's coming. Is this what we were looking for this whole time? It seemed like a lively animal. It had legs and was friendly. It didn't change color or lay eggs. It was clean and fast. It loved eating grass and it didn't have stripes. Roy was overjoyed. Are you a horse? asked Roy. Of course, said the horse. Well, I have a saddle, said Roy. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, said the horse. And they did. Wait a minute. Who's supposed to be riding who? <laughs> Isn't that a silly story? It's called, Are You a Horse? <laughs>